In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the essential steps how to develop a quiz in Vato Pro. For this reason, I have started a new WordPress website where I have installed the full Vato Pro bundle of plugins. When we enter the backend, we will see that with the installation of the Vato Pro package, three new menus have appeared. For the moment, we will concentrate on the main features of the Vato Pro menu. The first entry of the menu will open up an overview page, where you can manage later on your collection of quizzes. At the moment, as we start from scratch, this page is empty. Clicking the link Create New Quiz will present the first tab from a series of tabs where you can set up many different options for your quizzes. We start here with providing a quiz name. Now we can go to the next field and write whatever text we want to provide before the questions of the quiz will appear. Personally, I do not use this possibility much as I use the normal WordPress page for general description and explanations. But just to show you this functionality in comparison with the WordPress page we will create later on, I will add some text into this field. The next step is important. We want to have a button which the learner has to click to start the quiz. Otherwise, questions will immediately appear after entering the WordPress page where the quiz is embedded. We use this template here and we copy it into the description field. The curly brackets are important as they distinguish normal text from program code executing during runtime. We add the text of the button between quotation marks. Now we can save our settings and start with the development of questions. The Add Question page starts with some options we skip. We go directly to the text field and write down our question. This is going to be a true-false question, so we will write down a statement which can be correct or wrong. Then we scroll down to choose the question type. Vato Pro has a selection of different question types to choose from. As a true-false question is a subtype from a single-choice question, we put a check mark into this option. You can see at the bottom of this page that putting a check mark changes what comes next. This is a general feature. Whenever you choose a question type, the form will be adapted according to the requirement of your question type. As the above statement is wrong, the correct answer here is false. Additionally, we will give the learner one point when answering the question correctly. This is for the evaluation not absolutely necessary, but I will need points to explain the feature of Vato Pro Play later on in another tutorial. Now we can provide feedback. Again, this is not necessary but I think to provide feedback is an essential element for the learning experience. We want to provide different feedback for correct and wrong answers. Therefore, we have to check Elaborate Answer Feedback. This opens up two options where just the first one is appropriate for a true-false question. We can now write our feedback into the text field. In the case of a correct or wrong feedback, we have always to provide the feedback for the correct answer as the first text. I will also give the learner feedback about the points he or she has collected. The code points between three curly breaks is a variable and will display the points the learner has collected for answering this question. Then we have to put the code split between three curly breaks into a new line in order to tell Vato Pro that we will now start 
with the text for the feedback for the wrong answer. This done, we can finally save and close this Add Question page and we will be taken back to the Manage Question page where we started from. We could add from here other questions, but for this overview we will stop with just this one true-false question. To present the question to the learner, we have to put the WordPress shortcode into a poster page. A shortcode is a small program in WordPress this time between brackets. Remember, brackets for short code in WordPress and curly breaks for codes in Vato Pro. We see here what to insert to present the quiz to the user. We will therefore generate the WordPress page to include the code. But to show the difference between text in WordPress and the text we have written into the quiz, I will add some text before the code. We save this page and go back to Vato Pro. You will now see a link which opens the WordPress page where we have embedded the code. You see now the text we have written into the WordPress page and also the text we have written into the quiz. You also can see the active button for starting the quiz. So let's try out our work now. After taking the quiz, Vato Pro provides us with feedback. In the lower part you can see the text we have written in the feedback of our true-false question. But in the upper part you can see some other feedback addressing the total outcome of the test. We are going now to inspect and adapt these lines. For this I have to go back to the Manage Question page and continue to edit the general options of my first quiz. The total feedback of the quiz is set up in the last tab. There we will see some text which is provided as a default option by Vato Pro. Here we will see that variables are enclosed between two percentage signs. In contrast to the three curly breaks to denote variables inside Vato Pro, the variable text for the total outcome in the final screen is processed differently and need therefore a different symbol. This is in the beginning a little confusing, but you will be used to it easily. Just read the help text, which you will find on all Vato Pro pages. When we scroll down, we will see the explanation of all the variables you can use for the final screen. For a better understanding, we will add answers to the second line, and as we do not use grades at the moment, we will delete this line. Finally, we can do some formatting. Then we save the changed settings and we try out our quiz again. Now you can see the modified final screen. That was it. It took us about 10 minutes to get an overview of Vato Pro and to develop our first simple test. In the next tutorials I will go more into details and explain the many options Vato Pro provides.